welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to show you how you can customize something in the OPAC. For those of you who might want to add an extra link or blog post or something that you know jumps out to your library website, you can do that with a system preference called More Searches. Yeah, this is pretty fantastic. This is actually a system preference that came a, a few versions ago, Jesse. Um, and that system preference, we'll head on over there, is called OPAC. more searches. Perfect. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know a lot of HTML and we'll add one good test run for you in the blog post. But really what this breaks down to is it wants you to add a text of what the viewer is going to see and then the link to that text. So we gave a couple examples that if somebody clicked this Bywater Solutions, they'd be directed to Koha dot by water solutions for our educational resource resources, sign up for a newsletter, same, same sort of thing. And then pop over to the OPAC. And then this is where they're going to sh show up. They're going to show up here. So you could have some easy accessible resources or, you know, places that you want your users to have a, a quick link to right from your main page of your OPAC. We love a one-stop shop here, and this is what it's adding to. So Kelly, the advanced search, the purchase suggestions, the libraries, are those all things that are coming from other system preferences? The advanced search is by default. Displays is a, the course reserves renamed as displays for this public okay. library. Purchase suggestions, I believe it must be being done by jQuery, but, and then finally libraries is that new system preference that always put it in there. So those are already kind of hard coded in there. And what we're adding is far to the, you know, further down on the line. Right. Okay, perfect. And as always, you know, if those were something that you wanted to change, if you wanted to hide or remove advanced search, which I have seen some libraries do, absolutely, you can use jQuery to, to hide some of that. Yes, but this is an absolutely great way to be able to highlight something new in your library or something you want to, um, send your user out to a community resource, maybe COVID resources. Um, it's really, it's a really fantastic way to be that community hub, which we know all libraries are. All right. Awesome. Okay. Well, have a great New Year's, Jesse, and I'll see you in 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay.